I got this. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ariel for all new subscribers. I do lifestyle and fashion vlogs, but mainly fashion vlogs. Sometimes we eat dope food. And yeah, so what I need you to do is hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so you could join us on all our adventures. And for all my subscribers that have been here since day one, welcome back guys. Um, this is probably going to be one of the videos that everybody's wanted to see for a long time. Um, my Celine essay actually hit me and Amber up a little bit over a week ago, let us know that there was a private sale and invited us into the showroom to pick up some new pieces. So I'm going to let you guys see what we picked up. Well, actually not what you picked up because you don't have it on you. But I'm going to show you guys what I picked up, which includes how many pairs of boots? Three pairs of boots, three pairs of new boots that I picked up, and a pair of sneakers. So we're gonna jump into that Celine haul right now. All right, so Amber's gonna give me the first pair of sneakers. Pass me along. Thank you very much. I appreciate you very much. <laughs> All right, so the first pair of, uh, my spit just flew out. So the first pair of sneakers that I picked up, which is the only pair of sneakers that is this is called the Celine Triumph sneaker. Can I pick it up good? Yeah. It's picking it up decently. Oh yeah, I can see it in the background. All right. So these are the Triumph sneakers. Um, I guess this would be Hedy's, or Eddie, Eddie's, because everybody gets on me on how I pronounce his name. This would be his version of when he did the SL01 for Saint Laurent. Um, it's just pretty much a low top skate sneaker, very clean. Um, I picked it up in the white and red colorway. This comes in all white, um, white and blue, with the blue detailing over here and blue detailing on the back, um, and white and black with the black detailing in both spots. But I just figured this pair I liked the most and the price was crazy, so I picked this one up. But this actually reminds me of my favorite sneaker, which everybody pretty much knows me for, which is my Saint Laurent surf sneaker. And I just feel like I get the most wear out of this one, so why not just get the new rendition that, uh, that Eddie did for Celine. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna get a lot of use out of these sneakers. Um, they do run true to size, just like these. I took them in a 45, which is a US 12. 45 is European 12. So yeah, this was definitely a good purchase that I did. So the next item I purchased was, thank you very much, I appreciate you again. Mm -hmm. So the, <laughs> the next pickup I did was this, what is this called? This is the Carmog, this is the Carmog biker boot, but this is the harness version. Now I have, Amber, mm -hmm. if you would be so kind, this is the, this is the Carmog biker this boot. This is Celine Carmog. Wyatt boot? Veg Vegetal biker Chelsea boot. We're gonna just call it what it is. You know why? Because we all know that Eddie Slimane took the Wyatt boot. Can you pass me my Wyatt boot, please? Kind miss. Can you pass me my Wyatt? In Thank you very colorway. much. Yes, in that colorway. This is the Wyatt boot. Everybody knows what this is. This is the Saint Laurent. This is my fall winter 14. I think this is the nut suede. Pause. But yeah, this is the nut suede. This is the nappy suede version. Everybody always asks me how my suede got like this. This version actually came like this when I purchased it. Um, there is also another version that is a little bit smoother suede, but pretty much every suede as you wear it in starts getting nappy like this. But anyway, back to what I'm on topic with. This Celine boot is basically the new rendition for Celine. The, the differences would be, I'll put them like this. If you guys can see it better, can they see it better on the camera? Yeah, it's picking it? it up. So the differences would be in the heel. This is a Cuban heel. Um, Margiela does a Cuban heel. Uh, Heider Ackerman does a Cuban heel. And now Eddie has brought his version of his Wyatt, but the new rendition with a Cuban heel. It's a little bit more sloped. Personally, I find that this, oh, like throughout your day if you're wearing them, is more comfier, even though it might not look as comfy. This is actually way more comfier wearing than this all day. I don't know if it has anything to do with the slope that your foot's sitting in, but in my opinion, these are way comfier throughout the day. Um, you can take this wide boot back. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. The difference here also would be 
that the old wire boot for Saint Laurent would have the zipper. Um, and then this one, you can take this back now. And then this guy right here, you could just pretty much slide it on. You don't have to unbuckle anything. Um, the suede quality I would say is the same even though I was talking to some people on Instagram um, within the last week and we were talking about something that I talked about in a previous video with my Carmack Chelsea boot. So this is the Celine Carmack boot that I picked up in Paris that you guys saw if you have been longtime viewers when I picked them up in Paris. The problem I had with this boot when I picked it up was that the quality of the US pair, the suede, was like a lot cheaper. This pair I picked up in Paris and the suede is way nicer. So this would be the same boot, essentially. It's the same colorway suede. Um, the difference is in the heel. But um, I would say that this one, I got this in the US, this suede matches this suede that I picked up in Paris quality wise. So that's a plus. So I got this for a great price. Shout out to my Celine Essay also. Um, but those would be the only differences as far as this compared to the Saint Laurent Wyatt boot. Just, um, I guess, fit with the heel. Um, the suede quality is hit or miss with Celine, as I was trying to say before with the people I was talking to on Instagram. Um, I don't know if it's a factory thing, a factory issue, but maybe Celine has to look into that deeper. But this pair is good. Um, and then I guess just overall wear, like it's just easier to wear. Slide them on, slide them off. You don't have to unbuckle anything, unzip anything. So that's a plus with these. So I picked these up in the tan suede. And I also picked them up in the black suede. And I've never, I, did I have a black suede Saint Laurent boot? Yeah, did? but they, they were a size small. I did, I had a Wyatt in, in suede, but I got rid of them because they fit too small. I took them in a 45 also. But I don't know the cut of that Wyatt boot, it just ran too small for me. So I got rid of them. But I picked these up in the black suede. They run true to size as well. They do not run smaller. Um, pretty much the same thing as the brown one. Let's go grab it so you guys can see them side by side. So I picked them both up in both colorways. I think that I'm gonna get tons of use out of both of them. Something like that. Let's see, it's literally the same boot. Um, it's just Eddie's version of the wide boot for Celine. I'm gonna be doing my current boot collection video really soon, so I'm not gonna show you guys every single one of my boots right now, but I will show you compared to the Wyatt, it's black leather Wyatt, um, the toe, like Amber pointed out, she's right. This is very, very Western. The Celine would be a more Western cut. As you can see, it's, it's curved, it's a little bit more. It kind of looks like there was a Calvin Klein raft boot that came out. I don't personally like them because they have like metal caps on the toes. This is super clean. So if anybody liked that chunkier Western boot, then you would probably like the Celine um, biker slash Wyatt boot. Um, but that would be the main difference as far as like shape of the boot and the toe box. And then also the same thing in the heel, as I said before, with the tan pair, right? And then the zipper, like I said, also. I feel, I feel personally, though, like I said, like I've worn these. I think the last time I wore these was to my friend's wedding. And my feet were throbbing. And this is a size 40, the 45 also. This is a size 45. I take all my boots pretty much anywhere between 45 and sometimes 46, depending on how small they run. I should have taken these in a 46 because my feet hurt so bad that I haven't worn them since. That was the last time I wore them, mm. the wedding. But still a great boot. Just I feel like, thank you. Just I feel like in my opinion, the Celine definitely is way more comfier and could have something to do maybe as your foot swells. Maybe that was an idea that Eddie had with these coming to think about it now that's probably why he did it like this it's possible for sure maybe maybe he thought since your feet swell naturally throughout the day this would be way comfier on them and it wouldn't be as snug so i know a lot of people hated on this boot at first i was one of those people but after you put them on and you actually see them on foot they're so much cleaner and so i definitely think that these were slept on um, so if you could grab a pair, definitely grab 
one of these pairs in either colorway. If you can get both, get both. Yeah. All right, guys. So the final purchase that I made, which I'm kind of on the fence about. Amber hates them. I'm like 50-50 on them. Would be Hetty's Eddie's Fall Winter 19 Runway Berlin Boot. So, I don't really know how I feel about these. At first, when I saw them come down the runway, I kind of liked them. But then seeing them in person, I was like, do I want to scoop them up? Because this might be like the boot in the future that's like comes considered like the way it was for his fall winter 13 why it's with the exposed zip and all that so i picked them up because the price was right but i'm i'm kind of at a crossroads with them i don't really know how to feel i've tried them on they're nice but they don't really call me like that like kind of like how the wyatt and let me pick this up they don't call me as much as this one calls me not to say that they're not a great boot. Quality on the boot is amazing. The leather quality, I'll say that. Let me just put this down real quick. Shit. The leather quality on this boot is amazing. The hardware on the boot is amazing. I do really do... Blah. I really do like the exposed zip on the boot. But it's kind of like a bondage boot in a way. It's called the Berlin boot, but I don't know. I don't know if this one would get as much rotation. Um in my outfits as a lot of the rest of the boots in my collection, but price is right, picked it up. I don't know if I'm gonna return them or not, but yeah, this would be the last purchase I did. Amber, what is your consensus on these? Those should go back. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put these right over here. All right guys, so that pretty much sums up the Celine Hall. I hope you guys liked the review on all my pickups. Don't know if I'm keeping these guys, but I'm definitely happy with the pricing I got. So shout out to my Celine essay, much appreciated. You will see me again soon at the next private sale. Um, as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe, share the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome again. My name is Ariel. Um, feel free to drop me any comments below, any suggestions for new videos. Um, you can DM, DM me on Instagram also at ariel.rosado29. Um, and yeah, check me out in the next video, guys. Later.